you so. see a future of uh, where like robots are in our home and, and the, like robots that have like um, actuators that look like arms in our home or like, you know, more like humanoid type robots? Or is this, are we gonna, is, are we gonna do the same thing that you just mentioned that, you know, the dishwasher is no longer a robot. We're going to just not even see them as robots. But do, I mean, what what's your vision of the home of the future? 10, 20 years from now, 50 years, if you get crazy. Yeah, I, th I think we already have Roombas cruising around. We yeah. have, uh, uh, you know, Alexas or Google Homes on their, our kitchen counter. It's only a matter of time till they spring arms and start doing something use, useful like that. Um, so I do think it's coming. I think it's, it, lots of people have lots of motivations for doing it. It's been super interesting actually learning about Toyota's vision for it, which is about helping people age in place. Because um, I think that's not necessarily the first entry, the most lucrative um, entry point, but it's the problem maybe that um, we really need to solve no matter what. And uh, so I think, I think there's a real opportunity. It's a delicate um, problem. How do you work with people, help people, keep them active, engaged, you know, um, but improve their quality of life and uh, and and help them age in place, for instance. It's interesting because older folks are also, I mean, there's a contrast there because um, they're not always the, the folks who are the most comfortable with technology, for example. So there's a, there's a, there's a division that's interesting there that you can do so much good with a robot uh, for, uh, for uh, older folks. But there's a there's a gap to fill of understanding. I mean, it's it's actually kind of beautiful. Uh, <laughs> robot is learning about the human, and the human is kind of learning about this new robot thing. And it's uh, uh also with um at least with the uh, like when I talk to my parents about robots, there's a little bit of a blank slate there too. Like you can, I mean, they don't know anything about robotics, so it's completely like wide open. They don't have, they, they haven't, my, my parents haven't seen Black Mirror. <laughs> so, so like they, they there's, it's, it's a blank slate. Here's a cool thing. Like, what can it do for me? Yeah. Uh, so it's an exciting space. I think it's a really important space. I do feel like, you know, a few years ago, uh, drones were successful enough in academia. They kind of broke out and started an industry and autonomous cars have been happening it does feel like manipulation uh, in logistics, of course, first, but in the home shortly after seems like one of the next big things that's gonna really pop.